this is a pretty standard raised panel door, and it's a good looking door. But sometimes for like a special cabinet, we'll go ahead and add just a little bit more molding to give this panel even more definition. This is just a small molding, and we're going to add it in such a way that it shows about a strong eighth to three sixteenths of a shoulder there. Now because this molding is fairly thick here, what I like to do is go ahead and glue it and pin these pieces together and then I'll put the frame on the door. Put just a tiny bit of glue in the joints. And one of the things I've found when you're using this technique of pinning the moldings together, it's a whole lot easier if you can let the molding just sit right out on the edge so that you can get your nailer down over the edge. Now I just put two fasteners in this very, very, very small piece of molding. Imagine what happened if I tried to put a couple of 18 gauge brads or even a short 15 gauge nail in there. There's just no way that it would pull together that much. By the way, look, look how strong that joint is with just a little bit of glue and a couple fasteners. I'll work my way around to this end. What I really like about this is because the fasteners are pulling the joint together, I get really good joints. It is important to pay attention to the long points. You've got to make, that's why you see me kind of running my finger over the long point to feel that that long point's lined up. Okay. All right, now we're going to just lay this on here, put a few headless pins in there, and see what a difference it makes. I could put some glue behind it if I wanted to, but I'm probably just going to pin this on. Again, that's the sort of thing that really just steps it up a notch. I have done this in the whole kitchen sometimes, and there's been times when we might take just like the doors from the kitchen island and only dress up the doors from the island. You know, it's kind of popular today to maybe put a different type of finish on the island, sometimes even a different type of countertop. So changing out the door style is a great way to do it too. And, uh, but there have been times we've done this for the whole kitchen. This is a great looking door, but if I was making a furniture piece, I might want to add one more thing, and that would be some sort of an applique that's a carved piece or an embossed piece. A lot of times if we're building like a powder bath cabinet that's really a public piece that you want to look extra special, we'll do this. And it's pretty straightforward. All I want to do is just add this piece in the middle. I'm literally just eyeballing it to see what looks good. Might go ahead and put a tape measure on it. There, it's centered that way. And if these happen to be hand carved, and, and there's a lot of hand carved ones out there, they may not actually be completely symmetrical. So a lot of times it is just about looking and saying, hey, what looks good to my eye? But that pretty much gives me a couple of index marks. Now for this, you want to put the fewest fasteners possible in here because you just don't want a bunch of holes interfering with the delicateness of this piece. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and put a little bit of glue behind it. And again, it's important not to put too much glue because you don't want it coming out. I'm going to go right back to the index marks 
that I've got. And I'm just going to put about four pins. And they're so small, you're hardly going to know they're there, but they're going to hold that right in place until the glue dries. Now we've really got a special looking door for a special application.